you get me yo what's good it's larry l welcome back to another video thank you for joining me today i'm going to be talking about something really cool and it's how to make a beat using your mouth through beatboxing and midi and how to turn your voice into midi using a product called vocal doubler in fl studio if you're familiar with vocal then you know that normally it comes with this microphone and the software in your computer so this is a midi microphone and then you just plug it in through usb then you hook up the standalone program and you calibrate it to this microphone but now it's really cool with vocal they made a huge update you can now use any microphone you'd like you do not have to get this microphone but i'm still going to use it for the purposes of this video but i will show you how to set up your own microphone and then we'll get right into using this dynamic microphone you can see in inside a doubler 2 this is what the screen looks like now it's a lot different they updated a lot of the interface here it looks really cool inside of this little tab it says the doubler usb which is this microphone here if you click on that you can then choose a different microphone in this gear right here so you can go and you can choose a different input device i have a focus right so in that case you would unplug this microphone and then just choose your microphone and then calibrate it. It's very easy. You can see right here, the doubler microphone is ready, perfectly calibrated for doubler two. So I've already calibrated that. We could start by choosing a trigger sound, right? So let's turn this pitch off for now and let's start triggering some kicks, the plus button. And you can see it's pretty much just, you know, picking everything up that I say right now, but we're gonna train that to learn a new sound. So we're gonna make like a kick drum sound, a beatboxing kick drum sound, and then it's gonna record that and remember that trigger. In order to do that, for now, we're just gonna hit record takes. Now, every time I make that sound, it picks it up and it triggers the kick. We can go to add a new trigger. Let's do a snare. And you can adjust the sensitivity here. Add another trigger. Let's do a closed hi-hat. So now we have a bass, a snare, a hi-hat, and an open hi-hat. Now what we can do is mute the inbuilt audio and make sure that MIDI out is selected. And then we can go into FL Studio and I'll show you how to pick it up from here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do inside the MIDI settings is we wanna select Doubler 2 and enable that. So we can X out of that. And in order to get this to be working correctly, I like to use the FPC. All right, now in this FPC, what I like to do is customize it a little bit. So I'll go to presets go to empty and then I like to load my own drums in go through any of this again right so we can go to something like a snare maybe a rim shot maybe we'll load that in for the rim shot and then the kick it's a nice punchy kick and then what else did we have a closed hi-hat we had a closed hi-hat and then we had an open hi-hat right so now remember go back to the doubler and then remember that the kick drum is on C1 so then this kick drum right here, we're going to want to change this to C1. And the snare, what did we have the snare on? D1. So the snare, we can go to D1 and change that MIDI note to D1. All right, so in FL Studio, let's just set our tempo. You know, it's 126 metronome. Give it a little bit of a practice. We got kick, kick hi-hat, snare, something basic. Let's start this beat off with some drums. Put a clip in the playlist, song mode, metronome. Let's just start with kick and snare. Pretty nice. Actually, let's do control Q. Let's give it a listen, make sure it's on grid. Let's do a new pattern and do some hats. Now 
Not bad. Let's get rid of these notes that we don't need clearly down here. You know, definitely going to have to quantize that. And then I think I can just copy and paste that over because I like that. All right, so now let's try adding some chords possibly with this microphone because we could do drums and melodies and chords with Vocalay Doubler, which is awesome. So let's turn the triggers off for now and let's turn the pitch on. I put it into inbuilt audio for now. I'm not triggering any MIDI yet. First, we go to the key. We can see that it's set to C major. You can change that to any key, maybe D sharp, minor. So it's not going to let you hit any notes that are out of the scale, any of these grayed out notes right here. <laughs> The stickiness is going to tell you like how how hard it is to get into the next note because it's going to skip. So if you're hitting, you know, like a, a D right here, it, it's going to skip to the nearest note. So the stickiness tells how easy or hard it is to get to that next note by accident or on purpose. <laughs> To link your own plugin, just throw anything you want in there. Let's say we want flex, find something you like. Maybe we keep that on for now. Then go back to the doubler and choose MIDI out, unselect inbuilt audio. Let's try recording something. Sounded pretty cool. We're going to have to do a lot of leveling, but look at that. Full, thick chords. Like this, dun, dun. this is what's cool. You can mouth things out and then you can kind of flip them later to something that you really like and fine tune it. Maybe a secondary melody, something simple, and then we can flip later on. Get a little quantize, like da na na, something like that. Sounds good so far. Maybe duplicate that sound. Yeah, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this. I'm going to continue on working on this beat and adding more things to it in the future. But you can see just how easy it is to get a nice beat started, to get some chord progression started, and drums with the Vocalay Doubler. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. And if you want to check out the Vocalay Doubler now, hit the link down in the description below. And make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.